I'm Chris Narbonesa, uh, one of the directors of Ferro Eleganza, and we really do structural steel fabrication and also the erection of that structural steel on site. Cummins is a, is a factory or warehouse building and it's designed out of hot rolled steel girders uh, supporting the trusses and the trusses running in the opposite direction. It also um, has steel columns sitting on concrete columns. The cladding then comes down from the steel structure down the concrete columns uh, to close the, the sides up until it reaches the brickwork. Inside the building there are um, structures for crane gantries and the interesting design here is the crane gantry beams actually sit on, on concrete columns that have been cast. So, so there was a bit of an interface between concrete columns but our, and our crane gantry's beams uh, sitting on top of that. The, the, all the facades are, are done out of um, Metsec purlins and girts and uh, there was quite a challenge because of the beautiful facades th that it has that all different uh, uh, shape, uh, shapes and, and, and elevations, pop-outs, raised roofs and things like that. So it was quite a complex uh, roof structure. The challenges on this project really started right at the beginning with the detailing of this, of this building. Because of these, uh, these different steps in the facades, the raised roof in the middle, raised monitor, and uh, the final picture that the, the client or architect really wanted on the facade side really created the challenge of getting the detailing correct that we have these correct steps in the building. The, the structure inside, um, which might come across as a straightforward uh, roof structure, warehouse structure, the time frame there, like, like most of our projects these days, was a great challenge. So we had to build this project in, in, in good time and erect it to the accuracy with all these different uh, um, facades. So it wasn't just a straightforward erection process that we had to do. Um, we had to use a lot of cherry pickers for these facades um, to make sure that we're drilling because, because of the concrete columns, you've got to really drill all the cleats to that, which receive the, the facades at all these different uh, places. And I think, but, but yeah, we also successfully managed all of that. Like I was saying, the roof structure might come across as, as pretty straightforward. We really, as we've mentioned now, we struggled with the, um, with the facades. But what was quite interesting is this design of the concrete columns and the, the crane gantry. Um, we understand that to the, to the client, sometimes concrete columns is cheaper than steel columns. But yet, we had to put in this gantry at the, at the right tolerances that a crane requires. So your crane's tolerances onto your crane rails, onto your crane beams had to be done with concrete columns. And the concrete columns tolerances are not the same as steel. So we had to put quite a bit of thought into how we're going to have um, enough play around the casting bolts so that we could align and level the crane beams to the correct tolerances that the, the crane fabricator uh, needed. So we managed to do this with slotted holes, um, aligning this, the, the, the steel correctly and we basically accomplished what the crane fabricator needed. Well, I think if you just look at the building uh, driving along the N1 highway, it really stands out as a, as a very good looking, beautiful building. And um, I think with all the warehousing going up, everything could look the same, but we can see now, you know, with trying to change these facades, uh, the different colors of sheeting that they're putting on, it really brings out the fact that you can only do that with a steel and with sheeting and uh, it really makes the, bu the buildings uh, quite beautiful. But at the same time, within that building, it's really a, a, a plant that Cummins uses to build their engines and to store their things. So it works well, but at the same time, it's a good looking building to the, to the outside. I think that the fact that the team was able to accomplish what was required, building this building in the time frame that they wanted, and, uh, and also just the overall uh, picture that it, that it gives. You know, it's, it's, it's warehousing in the middle of Midrand, uh, across the road from Mall of the North. So all the buildings there are, are beautifully designed. And here you have this factory that really uh, stands out as one of the best looking buildings. So it, it, we're proud to be part of that.